I think there is a difference between men and women to climb a mountain. When you read the books written by men and then you read the, the books written by women, there is a different language, they are using different words. Men are conquering. For women, it's not, it's not war, it's not necessary to conquer a mountain. They do it under different aspects. I can tell you a, a very interesting story about the uh, early 20s. It happened in Switzerland. A very experienced and um, talented women climber asked for a membership in an alpine club. Because when you are a member in an alpine club, it's easier and um, cheaper to overnight in a lodge before you go for the top. Um, she was not allowed to do this. And in the same year, the dog became the honor membership of the same Elbein Club. As you know, our audience here at the conference is comprised of a lot of non-governmental organizations, funders, media, and then a big portion are actually mountain women themselves. And I feel like some of the speeches we've heard here have been directed more to the NGOs and the funders and the media. Tomorrow I'm going to be talking to the mountain women themselves. So my speech is a combination of stories, real life stories of the women who are here at the conference, uh, success stories, struggles they've had, the heroic moments they've had, and then a call for action. At this point, there are not a lot of women's issues being presented at Bishkek. We hope that the results of this conference can change that. So the very immediate action is going to Bishkek with the declaration. Uh, after that, I think it's important that there be real follow-up. And the Mountain Institute and some of the other funding partners for this conference are talking right now about how there can be follow-up through 2003, because nothing is worse than uh, getting people's hopes up, being inspiring, talking a lot and then walking away and saying, gosh, that was interesting. We want it to be more than that. We are all brought together by a common love for the mountains and by a determination to enjoy the immense opportunities, beauty and wealth, as well as face the challenges. As a young person, I look for inspiration from the participants gathered here today. Each one of you has taken on leadership roles and will now take the goals of the Timpo Declaration forward. It was an honour and pleasure for the people of Bhutan to receive you and discuss our roles in preserving mountains that we hold so close to our hearts. Thank you all and thank you.